Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, AC circuits involving resistors, inductors and capacitors in relation to power systems engineering. So in this video we are going to discuss about power in uh, circuits involving resistor, inductor and capacitor. Okay. So uh, first we'll consider a very basic purely resistive circuit which is connected to a voltage source. So in this case, as we all know, the energy in this uh, purely resistive circuit, it is given by this relation. Okay. And here you pay attention that we have uh, used a DC voltage source so that is given by a uh, product of voltage, current and time, time for which the duration for which the current flows through the resistance. And if we apply Ohm's law and substitute V with IR, it becomes I square RT. And if we substitute I with V by R, it becomes V square by R into T. The unit of this electrical energy is Joule. And power in this resistive circuit is the rate at which the electrical work is done by the voltage source to maintain that current. So it is simply energy, electrical energy divided by time. So it is V i i square r V square by r. Okay. So basically we can understand power be it DC or AC as the product of voltage and current. In AC, in AC circuits, it is the product of the instantaneous EMF and current. In AC circuit, the power instantaneous power it is the product of the time varying alternating emf and the resultant time varying current this in ac circuits so power in ac circuits it can be categorized into three categories three types first is true power which is represented by capital p there can be other notations also here we are using p reactive power uh, Q and apparent power S. So we'll understand what they are. So again, let us consider again, just we are going back to get the context right, you know, the background you know, leading up to the final discussion. So here we have again a purely resistive circuit, but connected to an alternating voltage source that produces an alternating current. As I said, the instantaneous power in this purely resistive circuit, only a resistive circuit that is ET into IT and the average power is simply the product of the virtual value or RMS value, the voltage and current. So which again using the same relationship I square R or V square by R, we get this E0, I0 by 2 where E0 and I0 are the maximum values of uh, voltage and current. This is the waveform relationship as we have already discussed. You know. Now coming to the RL circuit, resistor and inductor connected in series to a alternating EMF. This is the impedance. As we all know, current lags behind the voltage by an angle 5. It is in between 0 and 90 degree. And here, in this case, the instantaneous power, which is the product of uh, you know for a purely inductive circuit you know for that it is given by minus e0 i0 by 2 sine to omega t and the average power is 0 for a purely inductive circuit for rl circuit it varies somewhere in between the two okay and then this is the waveform and the phasor diagram then we have the rc circuit again resistor and capacitor in series here the current leads the voltage by an angle phi in between 0 and 90 degree and for a purely capacitive circuit the instantaneous power is E0 I0 by 2 sine to omega t and the average power is 0 and for a RC circuit it will be somewhere in between these two values. Now if we pay attention to the voltage triangle first we will go for RL circuit okay again we come back to the RL circuit 
resistor inductor this is the voltage triangle where we have taken the current as the reference phasor the voltage drop across the resistor it is in phase with the current and the voltage drop across the inductor it is leading the current by 90 degree and this is the resultant phasor ev which is the voltage so basically we can redraw it again we can redraw this again as this okay ev iv where we have slightly rotated it we have brought ev in line parallel to the you know x axis and iv there so again it's the same thing these two diagrams are the same thing ev is leading okay the voltage the net emf it is leading the current the same thing now we resolve this iv current rms value into two uh you know directions x and y so we have iv cos phi the horizontal component of iv which is along the ev the net emf and iv sin phi the perpendicular the orthogonal component which is perpendicular to ev and from these two components of iv we will have the definitions of true power reactive power and apparent power so this is for rl circuit this is for rl circuit from the voltage triangle we got this and then we resolved we divided the components of iv into perpendicular directions so this gives us the power triangle we have discussed impedance triangle we have discussed voltage triangle this is power triangle where we multiply each of these components and uh, iv iv cos phi iv sin phi and iv with ev we multiply ev with them so then we get the power triangle ev iv cos phi ev iv sin phi ev iv this is the power triangle this is for rl then rc rc circuit again the voltage triangle for rc is like this where current leads the net emf current leads the net emf ev iv leads ev so here we can redraw this again like this where again it's the same thing we have just brought ev in line with the x axis and iv is leading again we will resolve iv into two parts two perpendicular components iv sin phi upwards perpendicular to ev iv cos phi horizontal and in line with ev again to construct the power triangle we'll multiply ev with iv iv cos phi and iv sin phi and we'll get the power triangle so this is the power triangle for rc circuit and this is the power triangle for rl circuit now from this power triangle pay attention to the components iv iv cos phi iv sin phi and ev is multiplied with each of them so we get ev iv cos phi ev iv sin phi ev iv ev is the part v is virtual value or rms value root mean square value so don't get confused by that now comes the different categorization of the power in ac circuit okay true power reactive power and apparent power p q s so true power p is ev iv cos phi okay be it rc or rl this ev iv cos phi component that is called as true power okay that is called as true power the component ev iv sin phi that is called as the reactive power q okay the unit of true power is watts and the unit of reactive power is volt ampere reactive okay volt ampere reactive var and the apparent power s is simply the product of ev and iv volt ampere va okay and here 
IV cos phi is called as the wattful component and IV sin phi is called as the wattless component. Most of the useful electric power which, which we know, which, is, which does the job, you know, when we call electrical energy or electrical power, that is this IV cos phi or the true power EV IV cos phi which arises because of this horizontal component IV cos phi be it for the RC or RL circuit. The horizontal IV cos phi or EV IV cos phi that actually means the electrical power which we know which we, when, when we say power okay that. Reactive power because of the IV sin phi component the IV sin phi component is called as wattless current because it does not do any useful work in the AC circuit and as a result this reactive power Q it is neither consumed in the circuit or nor it does any uh, useful work it simply flows back and forth in both directions it has no role to play most of the thing, you know, the bulk of the thing which is which contributes to the electrical power that is the true power EV IV cos phi and apparent power S is EV IV which is simply the product of EV and IV volt ampere. Okay, next is power factor. Power factor simply is the cosine of the angle between EV and IV as I said you can represent it as R by Z okay from the impedance triangle you can represent it as VR by EV cos phi is equal to VR by EV that is also true and simply the angle between EV and IV uh, by using this uh, relationship cos phi is equal to true power P by EV IV that way also you can calculate so there are three possibilities first R by Z cos phi is equal to R by Z from impedance triangle, VR by EV from the voltage triangle and true power by EV IV cos phi is equal to capital P by EV IV that is also another way of calculating this ok true power uh, by apparent power ok P by EV IV ok so this is the whole thing related to uh, RL and RC circuit and the different uh, you know contributions how the impedance triangle comes into play how the voltage triangle comes into play and how from the voltage triangle we determine the impedance triangle this is for RL circuit then for RC circuit the impedance triangle voltage triangle and power triangle so the power triangle is we get it from the voltage triangle redrawn in this manner resolving the uh, current in perpendicular directions IV cos phi IV sin phi and then multiplying EV with all of it this is for RC and this is for RL ok so these are some of the basic concepts related to power in AC circuits ok